It's Pierce. I'm at the perimeter lab. Sir, I have some information about Martin Hatch. I want him apprehended. Immediately. You took the one thing Mr. Serene needed to survive, Dr. Amaral. That made you priority one. Yeah, they made that clear. Monarch lined every escape route with barricades, roadblocks. I had to get to the mainland, but I couldn't do it by car. Needed a new plan. All right, let's go. Beth, I think I'm gonna need a ride. The streets are too hot. All right, where do you want me? I'll let you know as soon as I find some higher ground and get a good look at the situation on the bridge. I think it might be a no-go. What have we got here? Gotta get to higher ground. I'm looking at the bridge right now. It's a lot of monarch. I don't know, maybe you could sneak across? Well, maybe. Or I could pick you up. Let me know. I'm pretty exposed out here, so try to make it fast. I'll be a lot better when you get me on that boat. Monarch's right on my ass. I'm not exactly making friends out here. How's Dr. Amaral? Still kicking and screaming. How long do you need to get here? That depends. Let me check. Paul. What the actual fuck? Better get inside before the chopper spots me. Still there? Yeah, just looking for a viewpoint. Joyce or Wilder. Doing another sweep. I can't stay here long, Jack. You're gonna need to be quick. Yeah, about that. Bad news? Reoccurring theme of the night. I'm looking at the bridge right now. I feel Joyce across that bridge makes it's getting tense out there. If I go anywhere near that thing, there's gonna be a fucking crossfire. All right. Any other ideas? Our fire. There's no way in hell you're gonna get away with it. Calm down. Need to take a look at your truck. Uh, let me see. There's a pier under the bridge. You should be able to meet me there with the boat. Giant gas sign out front. Can't miss it. It's nice and bright for Monarch to see. There's not a lot of options. Switching to Monarch frequencies. Be in touch soon. I'll be there in a few minutes. Don't stand me up. Alright, Bobby's back, and we're getting reports of more and more of these Monarch roadblocks bringing them all over. How are we get down there? Where's the fire pole? Bastard. 
bastards.
here. Keep your sights on that dock. He may try to escape by water. Shit. HQ? The civvies heard gunfire. They're freaking out up here. Beth, change of plans. The pier's too hot. Gotta find another way across. I'm almost there. Just wait two minutes. I'm not putting Dr. Amaral at risk. I'll make it across that bridge. Whatever it takes. I need to get up to the bridge. Cross it. We got civvies trying to push through the line. You know your orders. Hard line. Any means necessary.
This is so bad. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground and the deck of the cargo ship was my best bet. Just had to find a way down. Frozen crash was a mess. Somehow, I had to find my way across. Hope for the best. heading downwards, towards the cargo ship. The route down wasn't exactly user-friendly. The fracture was getting much worse. Timelines getting scrambled caught in violent loops, off sync, crashing into each other. This was what the end of time would look like. Everything was broken, in chaos, frozen, and no one would know. was escalating. Objects were moving out of time, out of order, entire timelines overlapping. And it was going to get worse, unless we could stop it. You don't understand the power you're wielding. You need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out, and the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or... You can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Nick, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. You got it. Welcome to the team, Doc. Don't make me shoot you.
Jack, before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something. Okay, what's up? It's about the plan. If Amaral gets the machine working... We go back to yesterday and undo all of this. Listen, in the video Will left for me, he said the countermeasure was stolen from his workshop on July 4th, 2010. He also said I took it. Maybe I did, Jack. We have a time machine. You're saying we go to 2010. We steal it. If Will was right, that would mean it wouldn't be a change. We take the countermeasure, bring it to the present, fix the fracture, save the world. Okay. Explain to me why that's a better plan than just going back to yesterday and preventing all this from happening in the first place. Because I'm afraid that based on what I know about time travel, we can't change anything. The past has already happened. We can't change it. But my way, we don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, my plan still feels simpler. Let's just get the machine working. Let's see how Dr. Amaral's doing with the time machine. Yeah. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before, she knows what it does. found the problem. Quite simple, really. The power relay is down. You'll need to find a way to reset it up. There, where the light is. I'll lower the ladder for you. What happened to the power relay? Power surge occurred at 7 a.m. this morning, when the machine was activated. <gasps> 7 a.m.? It's hours before we even got here. Well, the numbers don't lie. <clears throat> okay. The console here's got two red lights, one green one. You'll have to reset the power to the two stations with the red lights before activating the relay. Both stations are located above the machine. Just follow the cables to the red lights. Above the machine. The perfect place for a reset switch, Will. First red light is now green. Good. One more to go. I'm not sure if you can reach the second one that way. You may have to climb down and reach the other side of the
Hey, Jack, come check this out. You should give Amaral a hand over there. Yeah, but I figure what I'm doing is more important. be able to reach the other side of the machine through here. You've got to be kidding me. What is it? This is all my stuff from our family home. been here before. That woman in the picture is you, isn't it? So... Jack, there's something you should know. 1999. I was eight years old, playing in my backyard, and a woman approached me, told me she was from the future. She gave me very specific details of events that would come to pass. She gave me this, filled with Dates, events, proof of it all. Jack, that woman. It was you. Everything I told myself would happen, did. Every detail, for better or worse, came to pass and couldn't be changed. Our fate is laid out before us, Jack. Everything that happened to get us here, every sacrifice that was made, they're all a part of this path. And they can't be changed or undone. Beth. When we step in that time machine, you will see for yourself. All right. If you're that sure about how all this works, we can try it your way. The notebook was full of dates, events that would come to pass, instructions. Her entire existence was formed out of those pages. It's her. She's the one who's been painting all over the city. <sighs> Jesus. Looks climbable. Okay, what is all this? 
I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your grill. You gotta see this video I found, man. Check out the TV. And everything else I, I put on those tables over there. Set the date into the console. July 4th, 2010. Are you ready? No. Are you? This is it. There's no turning back. Hey, wait, wait! What did you do? That was the wrong door. You changed the date. Where is she? Where is she? I had no choice. I couldn't let you take the countermeasure. It would put our entire plan at risk. I already called Monarch from the terminal. They're on their way. It's over. Fuck! We need the countermeasure to run the lifeboat. I'm gonna follow through with the plan, tie her up and get as far away from here as you can. Yeah, I've got this. Don't worry. Your first journey back in time, 2010. This is where our notes get hazy. You know how it ended. Your goal when you arrived was to retrieve the countermeasure. But my goal had to wait, because I wasn't alone. What's going on here? Since when did Will run a graffiti workshop? None of this crap was here in 2016. It's locked. I gotta check out that gunfire before I go anywhere else. What the? Someone's in here.
Dr. Emerald sent me to the future. I fought for months trying to find a way to get back. I wasn't the only one. set William's machine to 1999. The first possible exit point. Don't shoot! Okay, don't hey, shoot! Hey, don't hey, shoot! It's okay! Hey! It's okay! Ah. It's okay! I'm on your side. Who are you? I'm Beth Wilder. There's some things you need to know. You're the reason you built the countermeasure. And you've been here ever since. Eleven years. Why? Why didn't you come back? We should get ready. We don't have much time. <laughs> <laughs> 